Hi guys, so today's video is going to be a drugstore makeup haul and I went into Rite Aid the other day I was like a kid in a candy store just picking out some new products because I really wanted to refresh my drugstore makeup stash I got a bunch of foundations I feel like I haven't been obsessed with a good drugstore foundation in a while and it's been way too long so I got a bunch in hopes that I will discover the holy grail of drugstore foundations isn't that what we are all hoping when we go makeup shopping and then we're gonna find the one. I'm gonna show you guys some things that I got from the drugstore section at Ulta, so I might do a separate haul on the more high-end Ulta products, but I got a couple things from the little drugstore section, so I'm gonna talk about those too. If you hear some music in the background, I do apologize. Um, my neighbor, he's retired, so now he likes to wash his car five times a day, and when he's not washing his car, he sits in his car and he blasts music, and I'm not gonna be the one to tell him to turn it down because he is living the dream. Also, thank you guys so much for all the sweet comments and the amazing just reaction and uh, all of you guys reaching out after I posted my pregnancy announcement. It made me 5,000 times more excited. I did not think that was possible, but it made me even more excited for this new adventure that I'm embarking on. <laughs> so I love you and it honestly made my entire month to read the comments on that video. That being said, why don't we jump on in? Okay, so the first thing that I got, this is actually an oldie but a Grady. A goodie, a Grady. This is the CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume Mascara. I used to use this all the time and it hit me the other day that I haven't tried it in forever. I remember, what I remember about loving it is that it just has a very, very intense black color and it just gives you tons. Obviously, it's the Lash Blast volume. It gives you tons of volume, but it also lengthens really well too. This is a limited edition packaging for Empire, the show Empire on Fox. I don't think that the mascara is different. It just kind of has the name of the show in the packaging. But I got this because I wanted to See if I still love it as much as I used to. This is another actually oldie but a goodie. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette in the shade Dulce de Leche. And I used to love this thing so much. Maybe it was, was that last year or the year before? I'm not exactly sure, but I used to use this all the time. So my favorite of the two sides has always been the contour side here because it's just a really great color for my skin tone. Um, the other lighter yellowy side is really nice too, but I definitely use the contour side more. But I love this. It has such a nice big pan. I just like the packaging. It's like big. It's just big. It's great. And the feel of the powders is incredible. They are just super creamy to the touch. And they go on just so nice and even and soft. And it's buildable and blendable. And I just think this is an amazing drugstore product. It is a soft product, so you got to watch out that you don't break it. It's definitely worth the risk. Let me show you some of these foundations. So this one is the Rimmel Lasting Finish 25-Hour Breathable Longwear Foundation. So if for some reason you need to wear your makeup for 25 hours straight, in which case I feel like you have bigger problems than getting your makeup to last, but you never know. Um, this one, it could be a good option. So I thought this looked like a really good hot weather summertime foundation, we will see. It says it is SPF 20 and it's lightweight skin perfecting foundation with medium coverage, breathable skin technology that moisturizes for up to 25 hours. And I kind of like the packaging. I actually really like the packaging. It has this really big doe foot, jumbo sized doe foot applicator, really similar to the Clinique, I think it's the Beyond Perfect foundation. I also I also got the Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour Breathable Concealer. And I got this in shade 100 Fair, and this is supposed to go, these are on the same display together, and unless my Rite Aid is really far behind, I'm pretty sure this is a new product, I am definitely in the market for a drugstore concealer. I'm in the market for all things drugstore, so I'm like, hey, throw it in the bag. And then I also picked up the Physician's Formula, the Healthy Foundation. This is SPF 20. And I just think this bottle looks really nice. So it is a brightening complex for all skin types. So it says this one is packed with vitamins and antioxidants for healthy coverage, infused with all kinds of stuff to brighten, hydrate, and even your skin tone. It's ultra blendable, ultra blendable, lightweight, buildable, and breathable. I got LC1 is the same. I think they were out of the very lightest shade, so I got this one. And typically, so I haven't been self-tanning because I know people do it 
when they're preggers, but my doctor told me that I shouldn't be doing it in the first trimester at the very least. Uh, they can, you know, I'm probably going to revisit it later on for my wedding or something like that. I know other people do it, but I just tried to stay away from that, especially in the beginning. But like today I have a little bit of body bronzer on. So this may be, we'll see if this matches with the body bronzer or if this is my like straight up, straight up fair skin shade. Oh my gosh, this one has a big ol' applicator on it too! I love that so much! Okay, this is probably not news to many of you guys out there. I'm sure you guys have tried this product. I'm still, I'm like kinda catching up here. Okay, I can make that work. Definitely, especially with a little bronzer on there. Good to go. Then I got the Ardell Soft Touch Trios, which I sort of forgot about. But I have been using the Ardell Individuals a lot recently. I just feel like they're so easy and foolproof to pop on. They look nice and natural. It doesn't matter if they fall off or if one of them falls off, nobody's really going to notice. That's what I did for my bridal shower. I just did a very soft glam look and did some Ardell Individuals. But then I totally forgot about these. But these are the little trios, three in one. You can put on three at one time. It kind of saves you time. So you don't have to be like putting on each individual lash. So I've really been liking that look lately, sort of more of the lash extension type of look. And I think that is what this gives you. Okay, I went ham on the Physician's Formula butter blushes and butter bronzers. So I have the butter bronzer already in the shade bronzer. This one is pretty cool tone for me, so I actually feel like this on me is better for a contour. It's so perfect for nose contour. Uh, it's just a nice, soft, cool shade. I know, I mean, I use it all over my face, but that specifically is what I've been using it for lately. So I wanted to try out the other ones to see if maybe they would be a good fit just for a regular all over the face bronzer. So let's see, I got both colors. I could not decide which one looked like it would fit me better, so I just got both of them. So this one is sun kiss bronzer, and this one is light bronzer. So this one is the light bronzer. So compared to the one that I've been using, it's a little bit, it's definitely softer in color, in depth, and it's also a little bit warmer, which is exactly what I was looking for. So this could be great. This could be really good. I'm loving the look of that one. So, and then this is the other one, the Sunkiss Bronzer shade. How many times can I say bronzer in this video? I got another one, so I'm gonna be saying it more. Comparatively, it sort of seems like the same exact tone as the other one that I got, you know, just a little bit deeper, a little bit rosier. But again, that looks like exactly what I was looking for. So these could work out really great for days when I don't have my body bronzer on, <laughs> which is most days, and days that I do. I feel like when I film, I need a little something going on just because this light shines right through me because I'm so fair. You could literally see my veins and my organs and my everything going on. So then I got two of the Physicians Formula Butter Blushes. I have tried, I have tried another one. I don't think it was a highlighter. I think it was a blush. And I actually did not like it at all. It was almost the same exact color of my skin tone. It really did not show up. It, it was, it was definitely a flop for me. This one is called Vintage Rouge. And this one, oh my goodness, this is really soft too. And it's a beautiful pinky peach color. That looks like it's going to be so nice. And I love that these are matte, but they look, they don't look dry and powdery on the skin. So that one is gorgeous. And this next one is called Natural Glow. You guys are going to see, and especially the products that I got from Sephora and Ulta, I got so many. I don't know if I got from Sephora, but definitely from Ulta, I got a bunch of blushes. Over the past year, I got out of wearing blushes. I'm back in, baby. I'm back in full force. Like, I don't know what it is. I've just been really into them again lately, so yeah, that's exciting. This is called Natural Glow. That is what that color looks like. That is really, really soft. A very soft peach, so we'll have to see. I don't know, guys. Did I just rebuy the color from before that I didn't like? That's quite possible. Ooh. Ooh. I also got the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the shade Nude Ivory. Now this one, I wish they would have sealed these up in the store. That kind of skews me out a little bit, but I always just reach from the back. Reach from the back of the stack. This one has a little paddle applicator on it, which is interesting. I don't hate it. It's better than it just being an open bottle. <laughs> you have to shake and you know, get it all over yourself. So the Photo Focus Foundation in Nude Ivory, 
this shade looks like it would work pretty well so this is really geared towards photography and showing up really well in flash photography it eliminates white particle reflection which this doesn't have any SPF in it um, that is definitely going to help I feel like if you have SPF in your foundation you might get some flashback but then sometimes I don't at the same time and then sometimes I'll get flashback with just a little bit it's not like flashback when you have white powder under your eyes or something but you just get a little bit of that ghostly effect on your face where it looks lighter with foundations that don't have SPF in it so it can kind of go either way so we'll see if this one does what it claims I'm excited to try this one out like I said guys I have got my work cut out for me so then these are also by Wet n Wild I saw these and I got really excited because I have been so into cream and liquid highlighters lately so when i saw them at the drugstore i was like girl gotta get those they came in a bunch of colors if i remember i got the shades that i felt like would work with my skin tone the best and they're actually real glass bottles so this one is a beautiful beautiful golden shade this one is called goddess glow this is more of a pink tone not so much a rose gold definitely more of a pearly pink and it's called rosy and ready see what these applicators look like i'm using a comb and i'm breaking it <laughs> one by one i'm breaking it trying to open this packaging so i don't smudge my nails priorities biscuit how are you living down there does anybody else have a cat that snores because i do by the way, I didn't even tell you the name of this. This is the <laughs> Wet n Wild Mega Glow Hello Halo Liquid Highlighters. And then this last shade is in the shade Halographic. Halographic. <laughs> Took me a while, but I got it. Let's just see what these look like. Oh, yay! Another big ol' fat no foot applicator. I love that. Okay, and then I have two more things to show you guys. This is by Essence. And so I got this at Ulta and, um, you know, the little drugstore section. And this is the Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder, matte without the E. And this one is the shade for lighter skin. They had two shades, one that said lighter skin, one that said darker skin. And I kind of held them up into the light. At first it didn't seem like there was much of a difference, but this one is definitely lighter so I went with this one so yeah this is 01 natural it says and it did again it's similar to the wet n wild pan I just love a nice big pan like this because nine times out of ten your bronzer brush is gonna be bigger so it's nice to just be able to fit the whole brush in there this is a nice soft natural color it's a little bit more I don't want to say orangey because that sounds bad when you're talking about a bronzer but it just kind of almost has like a peachy bronzy glow so that it's gonna look a lot warmer next to that contouring powder obviously it actually kind of has a similar creamy feel to it that the butter bronzers do so that is pretty exciting i'm excited to try this one out you guys and then another one that i could not help but try out today is also by essence it's actually my makeup bag i got it this is the essence satin touch blush in the shade satin coral number 10 this is so so pretty so i'm wearing this today and i absolutely love this so much at first i looked at it and i thought it might be a little too dark but when it goes on see now on the camera it doesn't look like it's too dark at all but it just goes on so incredibly smooth and i love 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 this color it's so perfect it just gives you that perfect like warm flush but it's not too orangey of a coral it's just the perfect middle of the road shade there was another one that i was looking at that looked like more of a nude a beige tone nude and i thought i got so many bronzing i got so many bronzers like do i really need a blush that kind of looks like a bronzer at this point so i just decided to go for something with a bit of color and i really like this it's tiny so it's easy to lose but um i'm gonna try to keep track of this one because i fell in love with this immediately oh i just got blush all over myself <laughs> all right guys so that is everything that i had to show you for today in this drugstore haul and if there's any products specifically from the drugstore that i'm missing in this video that i uh haven't tried yet and you think I should try you think I need to try let me know down below in the comments I've really been in the mode of trying out new things lately so I feel like I'm gonna film some more product oriented videos just like reviews try-ons lists of favorite types of products favorite foundations yada 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 that kind of thing I hope you guys are down for that because it's just kind of I've just been really into testing things lately and that is everything I had to tell you for today if you guys aren't subscribed make sure you do that before you leave so you never miss a video from me and 
I hope you're having a great day. I love you guys so much and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye.